Disney Frozen Anna and Elsa's Childhood Time A Disney Storybook Disney Frozen Anna and Elsa's Childhood Times Written by Victoria Saxon Concept by Brittany Cardew Illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team It was a beautiful day in the little kingdom of Arendelle, and not one, not two, but three visiting ships were anchored in the harbour. King Agnar and Queen Iduna proudly stood in the castle country yard and greeted their guests. If all went well, the Arendelle would have three new partners in trade by the end of their visit. Upstairs, Anna and Elsa stared in disbelief at their breakfast. We get chocolate just because there are some fancy visitors? Sir Anna asked. I suppose so we could refuse to eat it, Elsa teased. No! And it chomped on a chocolate cosnet. Elsa, can you play with magic? We are supposed to stay in our rooms and not disturb the guests, said Elsa. It's a peace, Anna begged. We can hide. They won't even see us. And besides, the castle is so clean now and if we don't do magic, then its shiny floors will be wasted. Okay, Elsa interrupted. Let's play, but we have to be very Quiet. Together, the sisters sneaked out in the castle's grand hallway. The king and queen were still outside in the gardens with their visitors, so Elsa raised her hands high into the air. Whoosh! The floors and railings instantly frozen with glaring ice. Whee! shouted Anna. She slid across the floor. When the king and the queen came down indoors with their visitors, Elsa and Anna quickly sneaked away. Nobody saw them. That was a close call, Elsa whispered to Anna. You need to be careful or we will get into trouble. Okay, said Anna. But we can use magic to see some ice to choose. Please, Elsa. Elsa paused just for a second and made an ice statue. She made some more. The sisters squealed with delight. And now we would like to show you some of Arundel's best artwork, the king said from the hallway. Anna and Elsa looked at each other and gasped. They raced out of the ro art room and fled into the kitchen. The king and queen led the tour directly into the art room. Anna and Elsa were gone, but their ice sculptures were still in place. Ah, I see, the Baron of Snow exclaimed. These statues are extraordinary, very avant-garde. Horror. This fight. The Baroness was less impressed. Inside the kitchen, Elsa cut loose. She made huge amounts of snow and ice. The sisters began a big fun snowball fight. See that pan? Elsa shouted. She hit it with a flying snowball. Whee! Two girls were having so much fun that they barely saw the king and queen arriving, their royal visitors. And quickly, Elsa and Anna slipped back up to the staircase before anyone saw them. When the king and queen entered the kitchen, they were surprised to see 
all the ice. But the royal visitors thought the snowballs were wonderful. Oh my! This is just what we need on a warm summer day," said the Baron, scooping the snow in a cup. "You must try it, my dear." Harump! The Baron stared at her icy snow cone. Ah, yes," the King chuckled. "Ice is Arendelle's number one form of trade. Indeed, we have." We harvest lots of ice from the frozen lakes up in the nearby mountains," the queen added. There was no one stopping now. Anna and Elsa ran through the rest of the castle. In the ballroom, Elsa and Made snowy hills, and both girls slid up into the air. And down again, they even made snow angels. Suddenly, the girls hear the guests approaching outside the ball. Oh, oh! Elsa startled. We better stop. They almost saw us, and I chirped. Neither of the girls wanted to get in trouble, so they raced back into their rooms. Meanwhile, down in the ballroom, the king and queen gasped up when they saw the snow heels, and the baron slipped and landed on the in the pile of snow. Oh dear! The queen said. She and the king rushed to the help of the baroness. Snow angels, the Baroness cried. I love snow angels. What a delightful surprise! I say, the Baron chuckled. The king of the kingdom of Arendelle stops at nothing to please its visitors. Soon, everyone was enjoying the snow and the decor. The king and the queen could not have been more delightful to see their visitors. So much fun. All the guests wanted to do business with Arundel, which was clearly a very happy and sophisticated kingdom. After the visitors had gone to their guest rooms for the evening, the king and queen went to check on their daughters. Both girls appeared to be sleeping soundly. But as soon as they were alone, the girl's eye popped open. Elsa, do you want to play? Anna asked. Anna, we can't. We are already going to be in a ton of trouble tomorrow. Elsa said. Anna leaned back onto her pillow and sighed. Still, it was so worthy. Both girls sat together. Hello everyone. Did you like the story? Please like and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for listening. And if you want your favorite stories to be read by us, please click on the comment box and write your favorite story's name. We will be sure that we make your favorite story come in this YouTube channel. And goodbye.